Bruckner's Ninth, the unfinished masterpiece of the Austrian musical genius, once again flowed through Vienna's music for Rhine. Another matchless performance by the Philharmonic Orchestra, this time under the baton of French-Canadian Yannick Nézé-Séguin, one of the most talented conductors of his generation, who's been sought by the most prestigious halls. For me, conducting this piece with this orchestra in this hall is possibly the greatest dream in my life come true. I tried not to think about it all these days, not to increase the unbearable stress. This is really the realization of a major dream. Bruckner paid homage to his models, be it Beethoven or Wagner, and he fought hard to find a language of his own, which turned out to be totally unique in the history of music. And in this lies, in my opinion, all the beauty of Bruckner, his timelessness, his otherness, his originality, which makes this composer more difficult to understand than others, but perhaps even more unique and special. Introspection is the obvious, unavoidable way for someone like me, who's been lucky enough to be in music for so long, since the age of five. I also happen to have a lot of energy which enables me to get involved, both physically and mentally, in each project. But this doesn't stop me from closely examining my musical intentions. What message do I want to get across for each piece? And that without being too much disturbed by what's happening around me. As a musician, this is my mission, which is also that of all artists, to offer beauty to the world. Especially as a conductor, we are people who must bring beauty and happiness to the public. This is the raison d'etre of our art. And when we talk about beauty and happiness, it doesn't necessarily mean joy and fun and partying. Although every concert should be performed with joy, and joy with a capital J. Yeah. 